We visit the small town of Brookmere, British Columbia, Canada, to start our rail fanning adventure of the Central Okanagan Railway Company on the CP Rail Kettle Valley Division. The railroad is also referred to as the Cork. With campfires blazing near the water, we hear a welder in the shop here in town as a Jeep 35 comes into view and passes through. In West Summerlin, we catch the Jeep 35 as it blasts out of the tunnel. It looks like a signal crew is working on an issue with train detection. Trackside model railroading, where the hobby comes to life. It sounds like there's a lot of work at the Okanagan Lumber Company today, as the saws are running. We see the train travel through the town of Summerlin. In Penticton, we catch CP Rail 5001 as it crosses a steel truss bridge at Okanagan Lake. The MV Okanagan tugboat at the right belongs to the Canadian Pacific. With blue skies in Midway, it's starting to turn into a great day for rail fanning on the Corks line. Arriving in Greenwood, we hear the local welder shop busy at work and we hear the horn of the CP Rail locomotive as it approaches the crossing. We watch as the train arrives further east in Nelson and notice that the wind is picking up and the temperature is dropping. We see the clouds are moving in, and now we're thinking we may have spoken too soon about this being the perfect day for rail fanning. With the line slowing down, we head back to the west. When we arrive at Tulamine, we hear distant thunder and see storm clouds building as the light begins to fade. It looks like we're about to get wet after all. Once we get into Brookmere, we catch the Cork's SD7 leading the manifest. It also looks like the weather over here is much nicer. We descend into Summerlin, just in time to see the SD7 arrive. 
It looks like this train is hauling scrap metal in the two lead gondola cars. Back in Nelson, we see the weather is a bit calmer, and the SD7 is still heading east with its loads. A local rail fan told us the afternoon daily cattle train typically has steam on the head end, and if we were fast enough, we might be able to catch it in Penticton building its train, so we'll head there next. Looks like he was right, but we weren't fast enough to catch it picking up its train in Penticton. As we show up, we see the train heading into Summerlin. We parked the car in town and ran up the hill to watch the train as it steams past the lumber mill. In Brookmere, we hear the sounds of the whistle echoing through town as it heads west. When we arrive back in Tulamine, we see the storms have not let up, but it's worth it to catch this train one last time. Back down in Penticton, we see they fired up the tugboat as the barge has been loaded and is ready to cross Okanagan Lake. In the distance, we see Canadian Pacific Sea Liner number 4078 cross the Steel Trust Bridge as it heads west with its manifest. In the town of Penticton, we watch the train pass the depot and are happy about the good weather over here.
People enjoy the beach in Summerlin as we watch the train pass by on the main. This beach is on Okanagan Lake, and that tugboat belongs to the Canadian National. Thank you for joining us on this short rail fanning adventure in Canada. We offer more of this layout on DVD and Blu-ray. The full movie includes a special extra section on Kevin Kletke's fantastic Washington Northern NHO, as well as Stan Smith's Southern Pacific layout based in Oregon.